to another exciting episode of New to Vero 2. I'm your presenter, Shabu Ryu, and today Maya is being my guest host. We wanted to talk about a little, take a little step away from reviewing retro toys, comics, G.I. Joe Transformers in particular, to discuss a topic that I have talked about in previous videos, and that's retro video gaming. In particular, the news of the PlayStation Classic Edition that's coming out. Basically, Sony's piggybacking off the success of Nintendo's NES and SNES Classic Mini Editions. And is this something that's advantageous to the consumer? Well, I'm going to touch base on that. And I want to present something that a normal working person um, would consider. I know the inter YouTube is filled already with millennials that sit at home and live with mom and that think they're going to be rich and famous. Their opinion. But I wanted to give a Gen X, a working person's perspective on why this may or may not be advantageous for you. And right off the bat, I was one of the few lucky ones to actually get the NES Classic Edition. And later on, the SNES Classic Editions. And what's interesting is I actually have both old school toaster oven, NES, and Super Nintendo consoles. And the question is, do you still play them when you have the minis? And the answer is yes. I have my consoles hooked up to a CRT TV. And these, of course, are hooked up in the living room, family living room, to the flat screen LED HDMI TV. Now, I have that so you know, not only for guests, people coming over, it's quick, it's easy. And also, I use these to store my catalog as well as games that I don't have. So I do have these hacked. Um, so these came with 30 games, but there's a lot more games in them. And it's kind of like, um, I do still have the carts for the consoles and I, I was just playing Contra this morning on the CRT toaster oven NES. And I enjoy both of them very much. I go back and forth. It depends on if my wife is watching TV on the flat screen I could hop on the TV next next to this one and play the CRT, you know, Sony, I mean, I'm sorry, well, yeah, Sony as well, but also the NES um, consoles. Now, the other thing is also is I do have the original PlayStation. Yes, you know, all in its wonderful glory. And as well as the original Remember, this is what uh, PlayStation first came out with. It didn't have the analog buttons. And then, of course, the catalog that we all love and become familiar with is the one with the analog joysticks. Now, the bait is, at $100 and 20 games, that's what Sony is going to package this. It has two controllers, HDMI plug. It's already preloaded with games. There's 20 games. I know Final Fantasy VII is one of them. Maybe a uh, Twisted Metal 2. I don't know if, uh, I'm sure Crash and Spyro are going to be on there, even though they were um, digitally released on the PlayStation 4. But here's the thing um, that you should consider, and this is the big thing in, for Dreamcast, is that all CDs, all DVDs have a shelf life. They're deteriorating every day. And, I mean, not at a very high rate, but, you know, in 20 years, will this be playable? I don't know. It, it, there's a lot of variables involved. There's exposure to light, dust, your environment. I mean, I keep my stuff spotless and pretty clean. But even with that, there's a shelf life to everything. Um, so, basically, with the these, I've kind of used as there will be a time, God forbid that that toaster oven and the SNES are going to be bro broken beyond repair. So at least I have something to carry my childhood memories with me and preserve them. The same thing could be said with the PlayStation. Uh, I know that we're Gen Xers, but there are a lot of millennials started off with PlayStation. That's their childhood memory. That's when they began gaming. That's their emotional attachment. So you want to help them preserve that. And I'm thinking that the same technology, you know, with having them, you know, on a flash drive somewhat with these preloaded games. And it's just a matter of time before somebody figures out how to add more games to them. 
that's the beauty with the PlayStation 1 Classic. I mean, you could pick one of these or even the PlayStation 1, the smaller one, uh, probably for around 30 to 40 bucks. They're not that expensive. And remember, PlayStation 2 is backwards compatible. So you could play a good majority of your PS1 games on your PS2. So again, there's uh, other videos that, um, you know, other famous YouTubers recommend getting a PS2 over a PS1 for that, you know, for that, you know, opportunity to be able to be backwards compatible. Now, that's, again, I, I'm going to get one because I want to use, like I do with the minis, the Nintendo minis, as a backup to um, the PlayStation 1 games that I already have. And the thing is, with my PlayStation 1, it's modded. So I have about, like, those old CDR things about this high on <laughs> PlayStation 1 games. So getting all of them into a little thing, that's going to be a daunting task. But no matter what, it's a way to preserve your memories and to, you know, in a nice authorized packaging. So, and plus it'll look nice I, I mean, for a decoration piece for us collectors. So I think that's, and, and also the other thing is, like, there's a lot of people that are not tech savvy and not like uh, into you know have the time to go to yard sales go to all these things that a lot of these millennials that sit at home do and believe me i see it on uh, facebook all the time look at my score i mean it's like one eleven o'clock in the day like who the heck has time to like go to some address to make these scores i mean more power to them but you know i got a mortgage and bills to pay i can't go out you know yard sailing in the middle of the week that's ridiculous i mean so i'll go to the store i'll spend money i don't want to go through you know chasing down i mean you waste probably more in gas hitting up all these places than just going to the one place and buying something um so again this is easy just to plug and play get it over with enjoy have fun put it aside and then you could utilize your um flat screen tv i'm sure Though Sony's going to dial it up a little bit to give you the best picture quality. Where the other reason uh, when I go talked about my CRT TV review is when you do play these old consoles, they don't look good on flat screen. I mean, it's good to play them on the CRT because you get the that's what they were made for. They were made for those old things. So investing in a CRT and these old consoles, I mean, it's like a lot of things that I did for my setup. And if you just want something to plug into your TV, I mean, these minis, they're the, way, they're the way to go. And I'm grateful for that. And the thing is, like I said earlier, I do play both. This morning I was playing Contra on the CRT while my wife was watching HLN with Robin Mead, who I think is actually terrible. I don't know why. I mean, she's, you know, I'm sure, I know why she's there. She's pretty, but she can't read news worth a lick. Um, but that's another thing. Uh, Maya, do you like, what do you think? Huh? Do you like playing video games with daddy? Yes. Are you a pretty bird? Yes. How many other reviewers have a cool ass bird like Maya? But Maya thinks she's a cat because she's raised with two cats. So she's very cat-like, which is weird. Um, but she's cool. She's always happy. She doesn't bite. So... And she loves sitting here and just playing video games with me. So anyway, the point is I'm not trying to sell any, tell anybody what to do. I just want to give you an honest feel and what I think might be advantageous for you as a consumer. I hope this review was helpful. And if you would like, hit like or subscribe. Up next, we'll be looking at G.I. Joe issue number 255, which features Scarlet. And I think it's going to, I'm working on it right now. But for those that follow, this is probably the best special missions issue that has come in this five-part run. And then this will segue to a, another G.I. Joe that's coming out in conjunction with the regular Real Egg American Heroes. So Larry Hama kind of like split it off for a second and then we'll bring it back together. But I'll talk about it in that in another video. Also, what's coming up, finally, the Black Major. Um, I know of, with the weddings and everything this summer, it's been, time has been terrible. So hopefully I'll get those done soon. Anyway, thank you for your time. 
and I look forward to seeing you again, my friend. Peace.